Hello everyone, this is a brief tutorial to help you get an account at World Wisher and also to create the first wall. First you have to go to the website that is called worldwisher.com and then click on login. I know you do you not have an account but let's create an account. I'm going to create this one. And I'm going to give it a different name, I mean a different email. And I'm going to sign up. Oops. I'm going to use another one. As you can see, I have many different email accounts for different courses. Okay, I'm going to use this, this one and bingo, here I am. I'm going to, because this is my computer, my laptop. Okay, now you can see here that you are already logged in. Yes? How can you use a World 4? Look at this, we have some, um, some help. You can make notice boards. You can teach, you can bookmark, you can discuss, you can brainstorm, you can wish friends, plan events, keep notes, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so let's create our first wall. You click on here, build a wall, and then it says, My wall is ready. Yes, okay, you can create here. If you want to create a new one, another one, a home, etc., etc. Yes, okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. Yes. I'm going to use it later with my students. description you can see here that we have the name and also little description okay now you have the wall yes in order to post um, a text message a video images it says here we have to double click so you double click on any part of the screen of the wall yes oops here it is and then you give it a name. You can have your name, for example, I'm going to write my name. And then I can write a brief message. And then that's it. This is the first activity. You can put it here. It says, tell us your name, where you study, and your age. I'm going to modify it. This. And your age. Ready. OK. And I can have an example. Yes, for example.
that's it. This is the first example, yes. And also you can ask your students to, I don't know, uh, a second activity. For example, That's it. I'm going to put it right here. And I can upload a picture as an example. Yes, this is really, really simple. Okay, once you have your wall, you're gonna go to this part and you're gonna click on here. Yes, and you're gonna copy the code to embed it in your blog. Yes, but make sure that you log out from Wall Witcher. Okay, I'll continue with the second part of this blog as the of this tutorial with the blog. Bye bye for now.